we are a knowledge and data broker. We have not that we haven't done this in our corner alone. Uh, we are covering demand, supply, and system infrastructure as we did in the past. The only thing is that we're tweaking a little bit the way we are presenting it. The GSR will become modular and will be available around the year. This means a lot of things at the same time. It means that we're going to cover the supply, the demand, and the system infrastructure in different sub reports or sub modules, if we can call it like this. We are also delivering the reports earlier as they come. So we will have multiple publications across the year, and this will make the whole GSR. So the idea is to talk about the demand, the demand side uh, of, of the equation, of the energy equation. We will be um, covering in a first uh, piece, on a first module, agriculture, industry, transport, and building. And inside each of those modules will be structured in a similar way. We will try to have the overview. We will have to try we have the targets and policies, investments, the market developments, and case studies. If you read this yellow box on the right side, it's very similar to what we have seen in the past in the Global Status Report, but we're trying to just focus from an agricultural perspective, from an industry perspective, from a transport perspective, and a building one. So the idea is to dig a little bit more. We will try also to give uh, this global system systemic view of the energy demand or renewable energy i'm sorry uh, where we're going to uh, present the supply and we're going to present also the systems and the infrastructure that we need for a, a, an uptake of renewables so in this part we will publish a power direct heat and fuels module where we will be talking about it i would say it was it will be similar to what the market and industry chapter was in the past where we're trying to cover what happened in specific technologies. And this is aimed to be in the same style. And we also gonna continue analyzing and, and tracking how the system and the infrastructure is it's, uh, changing to, to accept uh, the, this uptake of renewables. The masterpiece we have had in the past, it's a global overview. Um, we will still write an, a global overview that gives us a large narrative on the framing of the energy sector, uh, what's happening in, in the sector, uh, and how renewable energy is positioned compared to, for example, fossil fuels. We are kicking off today, I would say we are on the left side of the, of the figure, uh, we're kicking off the GSR itself, but we're starting with the energy demand modules, where we have agriculture, industry, transport, and buildings, and we will aim to have a publication around uh, the first quarter of the year, so it will be in March, normally, Second part will be starting just a little bit later uh, and where we will be including the energy supply. So what I mentioned that it's the old, I'm comparing it to the old GSR, but it will be the market and industry kind of uh, module where we're covering power, direct heat and fuels. And then we will have also the system infra and infrastructure. So how, how this system is. This uh, will lead us to a publication around May. This is the, the, the timeline that we have already defined. And final, uh, to co close this GSR, uh, we have the economic value creation chapter, but also the global overview. Like It's like the cherry on the top of, of, of it. Huh? As you always know, the global overview, it's, it's our main narrative at the end of the, at the, end of the cycle in, in June uh, as well. The last part, it's aimed to be Q4, as I say, it's like end of the year before COP. Uh, and this is the special features where we talk about policies and cities. This is differently. It's going to work be in-house, work in-house with all the information that we have already gathered across the, the report.